Metal Gear Solid. It's a uh, it's a long running series. It's uh, quite complicated at times, but you know what? We're gonna start this thing off. We're gonna pump the brakes a little bit with a little digestible story. Just a nice short little game that's very easy to explain. Good guys and bad guys and boss fights, and here we go. There's nothing complicated about this one. I guess compared to a lot of normal games, it's probably complicated, but um, I would say the most straightforward of the Metal Gear Solid series. So <laughs> let's, uh, let's waste no time because there's a lot to cover. Up, uh, up top here with Metal Gear Solid. This is, I, I want to play these games chronologically in order of narrative. The Metal Gear Solid games. If you want to see me play the Metal Gear games, those are on Giant Bomb. Uh, it's called Who's the Big Boss? I did Metal Gear 1, 2, and uh, Ghost Babble. So there are already full playthroughs of me playing those games on the internet. There are not full playthroughs of me playing the Solid games on the internet. So we are going to start with this one. Here we go. Let's jump in. Metal Gear Solid 3, Snake Eater, one of the greatest games of all time. We're going right into new game. Uh, I like them all. I like all of them. Let's go with two. And normal, I always go with just the default thing. Here we go. Okay. European Extreme, no kills. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We got it. After the end of world this is the game that taught me history. The world was split into two, east and west. This marked the beginning of the era called the Cold How's War. How's the sound? <laughs> I'll do a good start. I will not have any of these super long, obnoxious sound alerts on during these Metal Gear sessions. But, you know, we'll get some farts in there. David Hayter, solid snake forever, and they can never take that away from him, no matter what. By the way, all the cutscenes, I'm just going to be doing this the whole time. I am playing the HD version, uh, the HD collection, backwards compatible on the Xbox uh, Series X right now. Flying over Pakistan, altitude 30,000 feet. Approaching Soviet airspace. 20 minutes to drop off. Pakistan? Soviet? Equipment check. Our main parachute. All right. You ready to go? Drop zone still showing a high pressure mass. Cab okay. Good. We've got high visibility. Thanks, Eduardo. Bonk is intrigued by Death Stranding, playing it tonight. Put out that cigar. Connecting oxygen hose to interior connector. Now, this is something where if you've not seen the series before, this is the type of joke you will not understand as to why Snake looks like that. We'll get there. And it was amazing back then. Does this panty waste know what he's doing? Approaching release point. Ten minutes to drop off. Hey, are you deaf? He said put out the cigar and put on your mask. Game still looks really good. Depressurization complete. Checking oxygen supply. Six minutes to drop off. Opening rear hatch. This looks awesome still. <laughs> this game came out in 2004. Granted, this is an HD re-release, but it wasn't a remake. They just kind of uprezzed it. Sunrise. No work to Giant Bomb, this is how I got to work every day. By the way, I'm sure I'm going to make a lot of the exact same jokes I made in Metal Gear Scanlon, and I'm not going to remember it. So, there you go. He was 17 years old. Next month, actually. One minute to drop off. Move to the rear. This is one for the history books. I would do a halo jump. halo jump. I've done static line jumps. I've done tandem jumps. I would love to try a halo jump. Status okay. All green. Prepare for drop off. Countdown. Five, four, three, two. First battle royale game. 
Spread your wings and fly. God be with you. I don't think that's necessary. I think he's just being cool. God damn it, this game's cool. <laughs> just immediately cool as hell. His helmet says Metal Gear Solid 3 on it? Really? This is cool as shit. Is this the coolest video game of all time? The head of the CIA has finally given us the green light for the virtuous mission. Virtual mission? That's not what he said. Oh, the virtuous mission. The future of our Fox unit depends on it. If it succeeds, we'll be officially organized into a unit. Virtuous mission? Sounds like some kind of initiation ritual. You know, don't get cocky. This isn't a training op. Right. So what exactly is this wonderful mission? Can we do a poll in the well, chat uh, asking, is this your first time seeing ago, Metal Gear Solid? Or, or what is your experience with Metal Gear Solid 3? I've seen it, I've played it, or this is my first time seeing any of it. His name Thank is you, Asim. All right, we're going to go save Sokolov. Good choice. And the East's foremost expert on weapons development. Sokolov. Isn't he that famous rocket scientist? The very same. Good choice. On April the 12th, 1961. Thank you, Sky Shadow. Tommy Pizza, Goof Troop. First manned space flight in history. The Earth was blue, but there was no God. Well spoken. Good choice. Is that a famous book line or something? I'm already sprinting over here right now to let me know. Sokolov is said to be the man most responsible for the multi engine cluster used in that rocket. After Gagarin's flight, Sokolov left rocket development to become the head of the newly established Design Bureau. From so so Sokolov is a smart dude That's who makes so rockets. So why do you want to defect? It seems he'd become afraid. He was with the Soviets. Afraid. And now he wants to defect to the states, who the Soviets and the U.S. weren't. They, they were at odds with each other during the Cold War. One of his conditions was that his family was also to be taken Good choice. The I never like had a whole like tanks and muskets or I guess there was more than muskets at that point. But uh, it was a, that's why they called it the Cold War. Simmering tension is my understanding. The security on the eastern side was still full poles back then. Then what? We got Sokolov over in one piece, but the whole ordeal had left him exhausted. And we checked him into a hospital in West Berlin. It took him two weeks and more than 600 miles to get from the research facility in the Soviet Union to Berlin. He was in no condition. So, Germany during the Cold War? I did not know they were involved. I thought that was just the U.S. and Russia. It was Germany post-World War II. They got their asses kicked, and then I don't really know what the hell happened to Germany after World War II. That's Kennedy. That fella died uh, under... Soviet Unfortunate Soviet circumstances. At the same time, he announced a naval blockade to prevent further missile shipments from reaching Cuba. Divided into East and West Germany. Yes, the wall. Instead, placing their armed forces on secondary alert. Soviet transport ships carrying missiles continued on course towards Cuba. US Bay of Pigs! They put a bunch of uh, missiles at Cuba and pointed it at us, and it was very worrisome. The UN's Emergency Security Council and unofficial channels to end the hair trigger standoff. Finally, on October the 28th, the Soviet Union agreed to remove... That's Eisenhower? And so the world avoided a nuclear holocaust. But in order to get the Soviets to pull their missiles out... You can't do the wacky zoom-ins on JFK's face or any of this historical footage. ...IRBMs from Turkey. No. The Jupiter IRBMs deployed in Turkey were obsolete. And we were going to get rid of them anyway. They had no strategic value whatsoever to either the US or the Russians. The Turkey deal was a ruse, a cover story that was fed to the other intelligence agencies around the world. Good so the Canadian, thank you. Sokolov. Russians want Sokolov because he's helpful for their rocket program. You mean the Soviets pulled out of Sokolov's not a real guy, for the record. That's right. I think. Good what the hell was he working on? At the time, we had no idea. We were running out of time. Either give up Sokolov or risk full scale nuclear war. In the end, we had no choice. President Kennedy gave in to Khrushchev's demand. Khrushchev was a guy in Russia uh, about these times. 
handing him over to agents on the eastern side. Sokolov I think he's different from the guy in that Simpsons episode where the bushes are their neighbors. I think that's a different Russian guy. Then a month ago, we received some new information from one of our moles. About Sokolov? Yes. He was taken back to the research facility and forced to continue working on the weapon in question under KGB supervision. What's more, it's on the verge. Unknown says we need to get you in a scene in the Metal Gear Solid movie. Is it? Make me Johnny Sasaki. Rockets? No, missiles. I'm in. Same technology. I guess you're right. We don't know the details, but it appears to be a new kind Bonk of is playing the fire. director's cut of Death Stranding, yes. For half a year now, the Soviets have been conducting frequent nuclear tests at semi palatins So the Soviets are interested in nukes. We're talking about a secret weapon so big that Khrushchev was ready to pull out of Cuba to get it back. Is Sokolov still in the facility? No. According to our intelligence, he's in Selino Yask. And at some point, Russia used to be this huge thing that they called the USSR. If you look at like an old globe, like the one I had as a kid. But now it's like 8 billion countries and it's very confusing. They moved him there just recently. Why? Apparently, they're conducting a field test of the weapon, but it's our best chance to get him back. This mission would never have been possible if he was still... Russia's still very big, but it used to be like... crazy. This is our last chance. Sokolov must have known that too when he contacted us. Can you pause during cutscenes? I just want to know. I think you can. Back to super cool shit. Wins Grand Prix, that's one of my favorite Simpsons jokes ever. It will skip it, okay. Oh, Metal Gear Solid 4 is when you can do it. Okay, I will not be pausing, good to know. Now I might be buttoning through some codex as I play this, but no cutscenes will be skipped. Listen up, oh. Jack. Your mission so you do first is to person stuff here. Selino Yask in the Soviet mountains. Ensure the safety of Sokolov and bring him back to the west. All right, so I'm saving Sokolov. If we don't get Sokolov Look how fucking cool this is. is complete, we'll be facing 2004. The clock is ticking. <laughs> Once we've confirmed the When's the last time Sokolov, I played this one? At the recovery point. A recovery balloon will be dropped at that point. Over 10 the years? Will be pumped into the balloon to inflate it. The process takes about 20 I mean, it minutes. could have been when subsistence came out. Once Are we going full non-lethal? Dr. I will see. Onto the balloon and pull it up. The Fulton surface to air recovery system. I'm familiar with the theory. Take it easy. Full results are in. Most folks have played multiple times. You think A lot Sokolov of people played and didn't finish. Us. Not finished and... 23 of you, first time seeing it. Jump and the Enjoy. Can handle up to 500 pounds. So you're planning on going over the border in a single combat talent? She's equipped with two six-barrel 20mm Vulcan cannons, as well as two 40mm machine guns. Sounds like she could hold I her eaten own a snake? A battalion of tanks. I think so. Even with the I've eaten a lot of alligators. Tank, we're facing a four-hour time limit. If all goes well, it shouldn't take more than a few hours. Seriously, like, for dinner. looking past Must the up-res and stuff like that, the direction wrong, you're seeing here dinner, is the exact same as it was in 2004. Shot by shot here is exactly how it looked back then. It's just up -rest. How fucking well done is this? And two! Two was in 2001, and it was just as good. Fucking 1998, they were doing magic with the first one. I want to get to all those. In time. This might take a long time to get through everything, but I just want to play these all again. I'm seriously going to try to play as smartly as I can here. That's the coolest pose ever when you land on the ground. I did not look that cool when I landed when I went skydiving. So playing with Drew didn't count? I wasn't playing it. Drew played it. I've seen this whole game five years ago. I have not played this game in well over ten, I think. Ladies and gentlemen, wake the kids, phone the neighbors.
good a choice. I forgot that Drew didn't recognize that. Okay. Here's the joke, folks. That's not... Well, it is Snake, but it looks like Raiden, who is a fella... Uh, well, we'll get there. People had very strong feelings about Raiden in 2001. Got spoiled for me, uh, thanks to my boss at Funko Land when I worked there, because we got the strategy guides in before... Well, we'll get there. Metal Gear Solid 2 is a ways away. We gotta get through all of 5 first, which... I'm looking forward to that. We'll play that on PC and see if we can do some funky stuff to it. Okay. Oh, those lights. Lights, rays. Okay. If I want to get a drink, let's do it now. Okay. A survival viewer, of course. Okay, we'll spend some time in this menu. We'll get there. Okay, not gonna get spotted. Okay, so I'm playing on a uh, Xbox Elite controller. This is my first time playing this game on a non-PlayStation controller. Ooh, snake. Wait, do I have any kind of weapons yet? Okay. Trying to remember. Okay, how do you go into first? Not a good time. <laughs> <laughs> Do you copy? You're already in enemy territory, and somebody might be listening in. From here on out, we'll be using code names to refer to each other. Your code name for this mission will be Naked Snake. I'll be referring to you as Snake from now on. You're not to mention your real name. Snake? Well, you don't like snakes? This guy's just your, like, captain you guy. I'm sure he doesn't you become important before, to the plot. Didn't you? In survival training. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. I don't know if I'd ever order one in a restaurant, but... Be careful. You might not have a choice. What about you, Major? What should I call you? Hmm. Let's see. I'll be... I'll be Tom. Call me Major Tom. Boxer, thank you. Oh, and Snake? Yeah. Primworm, laser, thank Crew you. Crew isn't watching anymore. You can take off the disguise now. Good idea. This isn't right. Time for the snake to shed his skin. Again, this is a call forward to something. This game came out after Metal Gear Solid 2. You see, it's called Metal Gear Solid 3. Um, but chronologically, it's the first one. That's Snake. That is Big Boss, before he's Big Boss. Listen, it's going to get complicated if you haven't seen any of this. I will try not to jump too far ahead. I've spent, like, over an hour and a half raking me, leaves this Tom. evening, so this I've pretty much gone through everything waiting, huh? Big Boss has gone this through here in uh, the mission. jungle. You must not be seen by the enemy. You must leave no trace of your presence. Is that clear? This kind of infiltration is the Fox unit's speciality. In other words, weapons and equipment to procure on site. That goes for food as well. You're completely naked, just as your name implies. Great. Now I see why you asked me if I like snakes. I suppose calling me Snake was your idea of a joke, too. No. There's a good reason The original that. release, you could you do a ape escape right. minigame gotcha. as Snake, which was amazing. Getting back to the subject. And he shit exactly on Splinter Cell and uh, Siphon Filter. You've been issued a knife while hunting ape escape gun. monkeys. Use them to hunt for food. It's, this You'll is also a great find series. medical supplies in your backpack. Yeah, about the backpack. I lost it in a tree on the way down. I see. Well, did I ever go, go back, back to playing Death Stranding? No. You know where but it I'm is? I'm very excited to talk to Bonk no about it as she's playing it. I can see it. it from here. And I'm it's not stuck on a fully branch. against the idea of giving it another go at some point. To climb a tree, stand in front of a tree that's covered in ivy and press the action button. That's how my grandpa taught me to climb a tree. I'll be monitoring your progress over the radio. We can't risk violating Soviet airspace, but I'll be in the gunship. My frequency is. One four zero point eight five. I'll give you a call. I'll give you a call if I need to talk to you. If you need to talk to me, use the send function. Okay, Snake. 
Go get your backpack. Okay. Stab this. Where'd that snake go? Okay. So click the right stick to... Does that just go to the old camera? Okay, so you can kind of move it like this. Click the right stick goes to full. Okay, so subsistence is the update to this game that came out that gives you full control of the camera. And it is a tremendous upgrade over the original game. How do I go into first person in this? That used to be triangle, right? And, oh, okay. So R. And then if I have... Get my sea legs under me again. Can you not? Okay, so I can do that. Great, great, great. It's, uh, it's RB. RB. Okay, here we go. Stealthed. Off to a good start. I believe European Extreme is still intact. Check this shit out. Ha! Okay. Looking good. Doing great. Ever try meddling your acid again? That's pretty low on the priority list for my life. God, this still looks so fucking good. I would absolutely play full-blown remakes of any of these games. Hell, I fuck. I already did it with uh, Twin Snakes. That's up on the YouTube. If you guys want to see me play through all of Twin Snakes, that was one of the earliest playthroughs I did on this Twitch channel. And that is uh, on my YouTube, which you can find in the panel down below. There we go. Good choice. Z Ark, thank you so much. I see you've retrieved your backpack. Do you recommend snake. Twin Snakes? I like Twin Snakes for dumb to reasons. Equip a weapon, it's uh, necessary to I like Twin it Snakes a lot, backpack. but. It, I see it as a side bonus viewer, thing. It's not like a core from the entry for me. Your available weapons will be displayed in a window in the upper left. From that list, choose the weapon you want to equip and press the enter button. For other Good equipped choice. items, just do the Sword same player, thing from you. item. Got it. Use the survival viewer backpack. Yep, that's right. Survival is fundamental to this mission. I mean, it's fundamental to After you've been most out missions, in the field really. For a while, your stamina will start to drop. If your stamina gets too low, it'll affect your performance. You won't be able to shoot accurately, for example, and your wounds won't right. heal as smoothly. Keep an eye on your stamina so you don't run out. To recover lost stamina, you can hunt for local flora and fauna. That's like plant you shit. Can use either your tranquilizer gun or your knife to hunt. My only weapon is a Mark 22 Hush Puppy tranquilizer gun? That's right. It's been fitted with its own suppressor. However, the suppressor will deteriorate every time you fight. Right. Once its Shit. durability reaches durability. zero, the noise suppression effect Who's ever enjoyed gone. a game with weapon durability so problems? Don't get too trigger happy with it. The suppressor's durability is shown in the icon. Any weapons and equipment beyond what you're carrying now, you'll have to find as you go. I have to find my own weapons and equipment? Whose crazy idea was this anyway? Solo covert actions are standard Fox operating procedure. You can't leave any traces of your presence. No weapons, equipment, footprints, Reminder, I will be bodily buttoning waste. through Same goes some codex later on, but not so early on. Here. Your presence in enemy territory is already uh, a violation be, of international you know, conventions of warfare. Going slowly enough so people can read it if you're reading fast. American soldiers in Russia, it could spark an international incident. You can't let anyone see you. You can't let the enemy know you're there. This is a stealth mission. You're a ghost snake in every sense of the word. I'm a ghost. And there'll be no rescue if you're captured. The military and U.S. government will deny any involvement in the affair. Then I'll just have to take care of myself, huh? I'm afraid so. You've been given a fake death pill for that purpose. SIS guidelines stipulate hmm. that soldiers on covert ops like this one be issued a potassium cyanide capsule. Tape it to your body so you can take it when you need to. How generous of you. Use it if you're taken prisoner by the enemy. It'll send you into a state of happen. false death for a short time. Fooling them into thinking that I'm really dead. So, how do I come back to life? Just take the revival pill. You mean that thing they put in my tooth before the mission? That's the one. But be careful. 
If you remain in a state of false death for too long, nothing will be able to bring you back. Remember. Is that how this works? I'll keep it in mind. You said this was a solo mission, right? Right. I guess that means I can't count on any reinforcements. Correct. The mission rests entirely in your hands. A real one-man army. Relax. There's a support team ready to back you up over the radio. Who? I'll introduce them to you. This time, survival is of utmost importance. The first member of the support team will be in charge of monitoring your physical condition, acting as a medic, so to speak, as well as recording your mission data. She's a member of Fox as well, and she's here on the gunship with me. She? Hello, Snake. I'm paramedic. Boy, nice to now meet I'm you. trying paramedic. to remember. Paramedic. As in a medic who comes in by parachute. How she factors into four. Aren't you going to tell me your real name? Are you going to tell me yours, Mr. Snake? My name, huh? I don't remember. It's John Doe. And they call you Jack for short. You're a regular Captain Nemo. A name means nothing on the battlefield. After a week, Heard that. no one has a name. What's your name? Jane Doe. Very funny. I wasn't joking, but I'll tell you my name only if you manage to make it back alive. My frequency is 145.73. She's also in charge of recording your mission data. Whenever you want to yeah, say, so call send someone a over the radio over to save your game. Save frequency. One auto save did not really happen that much so back then. saving lets me record my mission data. That's right. It also records the state of your health. Good to know. There's one more person I want to introduce you to, Snake. Huh. Speaking of snakes, you'll you meet all these the people boss, 14 games you? later. Also, a legendary soldier and your mentor. Actually, it was the boss that got the DCI's authorization in the first place. She's going to be serving as Fox's mission advisor. The boss is? She also helped me plan this mission. She and I were SAS at SAS. is... Jack, is that you? Special air... Boss? That's right. Soldiers? It's me. That's probably right. Talk to me. Let me hear your voice. It's been five years, 72 days, and... She is very hours. cool. You've lost weight. You can tell just by the sound of my voice. Of course I can. I know all about you. Really? Well, I don't know anything about you. What's that supposed to mean? Why'd you disappear on me all of a sudden? I was on a top secret mission. Hmm. You didn't need me anymore. But there were still so many things I wanted you to teach me. No, I taught you everything you needed to know about fighting techniques. I taught you all I could. The rest you needed to learn on your own. Techniques, sure. But what about how to think like a soldier? How to think like a soldier? See people asking about Peace Walker? Yes, that. I am planning on a checking out Peace Walker. Needs to be in Playing spirit, it for the first time. Body and, technique. and the only thing you can learn from someone else is technique. In fact, technique doesn't even matter. What's most important is spirit. Wait, that's not on spirit this, is it? Like when I did game select, it was just... Coin. They're the same thing. Two and three. I can't teach you how to think. Can I play that out of 360? You just have to figure it out for yourself. Listen to me, Jack. I've got just the... because soldiers are on the same side right now doesn't mean they always will be. Having personal feelings about your comrades is one of the worst sins. It's a PS3 you disc. Politics determine who you face on the battle. Oh, it's separate on Xbox. And politics are a living thing. They change along with the times. Yesterday's good might be tomorrow's evil. Is that okay, right? To buy Peace Walker. No, it had nothing to do with you. I already told you, Jack. I was on a top secret mission. A soldier has to follow whatever orders he's given. It's not his place to question why. But you're looking for a reason to fight. You're a natural born fighter, but you're not quite a soldier. A soldier is a political tool, nothing more. That's doubly true if he's a career soldier. Right and wrong have no place Big Boss has a lot of thoughts about no soldiers. And no friends. That's a Only key thing in the series. You follow the order. She's teaching him this. That's what being a soldier is. I do whatever I have to to get the job done. I don't think about politics. That's not the same thing. Sooner or later your conscience is going to bother you. In the end, you have to choose whether you're going to live as a soldier or just another man with a gun. There's a saying in the Orient, loyalty to the end. Do you know what it means? Being patriotic. It means devoting yourself to your country. Like a snake is just learning what soldiers are here. Brass. I'm ready to die for them if necessary. 
The president and the top brass won't be there forever. Once their terms are up, others will take their place. I follow the will of the leader, no matter who's in charge. People aren't the ones who dictate the missions. Then who does? The times. People's values change over time, and so do the leaders of a country. So there's no such thing as an enemy in absolute terms. The enemies we fight are only enemies in relative terms, constantly changing with the times. As long as we have loyalty to the end, there's no point in believing in anything, even in those we love. And that's the way a soldier's supposed to think. The only thing we can believe in with absolute certainty is the mission, Jack. All right, but do me a favor. What is it? Call me Snake. Snake? Oh, right. Your code name is Snake. It suits you well. That's right. The legendary unit that the boss put together during World War II was a snake. The Cobra unit. A group Probably of just a bunch of normal dudes. The war to an end and saved the world. As long as you've got a legendary hero backing you up, you'll be fine. Isn't that right, Snake? Yeah. I can't think of anyone else I'd rather have with me. Oh, and one more thing, boss. Yes? It's good to hear your voice again. Same here. Snakes are all very After sentimental. All, who knows if either of us will make it out alive. Snake, you are always best at urban warfare and infiltrating buildings. That's what they say about me, but too. this is the jungle. Survival That's what I put on my resume. Be key. Those CQC techniques I taught you are sure to come in handy. CQC? Close quarters combat, huh? I've been in the Green Berets for the past few years. I'm probably pretty rusty. Not to worry. I'll be here to help you remember. After all, this is your first actual survival mission. I'll be supporting you over the radio. Where are you, boss? Next to the Major? The boss is communicating with us by radio from aboard a permit-class submarine in the Arctic Ocean. Oh, that's cool. My Just floating around in a submarine. There's submarines in the middle of your solid as well. Need my advice on battle that's pretty cool there. Gotcha. Your mission is to retrieve Dr. Sokolov. I don't want to be on a submarine. Dr. I don't Sokolov think I'd like it. Being held I don't like being on planes, and I think submarines would be worse. Okay. Position. North my current avoid position. And don't I'm going to avoid seen. combat, and it's a don't stealth this mission. This is a stealth mission. Snake, try to remember some of How the could I forget? of CQC. Commencing virtuous mission now. Okay, CQC. So you can see down there in the bottom right that I can do CQC with this. Now it's weird because the PS2 originally had, you know, it was pressure sensitive buttons and stuff like that. And Elite Controller does not have that. So I'm going to figure out how this all works. X to aim? Oh, right, X. I'm thinking about PlayStation. Okay. And it's pressure with that. Okay. Oh, directional mics. Well, let's see if we can hear some animals here. European big boss. Good choice. Dragon, thank you. Okay. So if I hit R3, it'll take me back to the original camera, which uh, always kind of points you north. And you're going north for a lot of the uh, this game, if I remember. Okay. That'll letterbox and lets you know that you're moving into another area. Good with surround sound. Can you cut the grass? This is an incredible video game. This is an incredible video game. Look at this shit. You know when I play, I'll play new games now, and I do this on stream sometime when I talk about how like the things like you know the the plants and stuff don't bend 
as good as a game that came out in 2004. Granted, I, I know it looks a little dated now, but like the little details were present in so many Metal Gear games back in the day that are not now, and I just have a lot of respect for this. I am looking for traps. I do know that Jungle Warfare is known for traps. I've seen some Vietnam movies. Trying to be cool here. All oh, right, and if I use the D-pad, I can do sneaky walk. All right, great. There we go. Good choice. All right. Yep, we got alligators here. Do I have binoculars? I know I'd be covering up some of the stuff over there, but that's fine. How do you... Okay. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I wish I could tag these things, like in Far Cry or something. All right, we have several alligators on the premises. All right. You know what? I'm going to try to avoid. Well, I'd kind of like to eat one at least. This is silenced. Okay, I don't want the... with oh, the A button, okay. Wait, I do want the suppressor. Okay, here we go. Headshot. Oh, it's Trank! Oh, well, okay, well then here... It's asleep. Don't look over here. Don't look over here. I'm afraid to get up and run away. I think he's gonna be really mad at me after this. <laughs> oh god, his friend's probably pissed. Okay. There's one there. European Extreme. Here we go. Okay. Better hurry! It's going to blow! Save him again, Snake? I'm fine. I won that war. Oh, Hassan. Yes. You're luggage from Eraser. Yes. All right. Hey, Snake. You ever heard of Godzilla, King of Monsters? No. Tierra Bucket, I've had it? many alligator it's burgers. Yes, they had a place you in Minneapolis that would do deep fried nope. peanut butter and it's jellies and alligator burgers. Godzilla. And we used to go there a lot on lunches at uh, Game Informer. It was near Ben Hansen's place. Down. We'd go there all the time. Nuclear test, huh? Then the Marshall Islands must be crawling with giant monsters right about now. Just look at pictures it's of Godzilla. Maybe that's why my pants have been so tight lately. Snake, it's a movie, not a report out of Los Alamos. I, I missed something. So then what happened? Godzilla is immune to all weapons, and why are his pants tight? No way to stop the monster. Dr. I Shirazawa what preceded that. A new type of weapon, but meanwhile Godzilla is getting closer and closer to Tokyo, obliterating everything in its path. It was originally a Japanese movie, but they made an American version, too. I recommend seeing the original Japanese one if you ever get the chance. It's mostly mindless fun, but it's also got a serious anti-nuke message as well. Where can I see the original? You'll just have to go to Japan. You can see Godzilla outside of Japan. That's well, it's 1963, I don't know. Well, if you wait 40 years, you might there be able to see it in America, There you too. go. Why is that? And Matthew Broderick will be in it. 2004 will be Godzilla's 50th birthday. You think they're still going to be making Godzilla movies, then? Of course. Everybody loves Godzilla. You sure know a lot about movies. I don't suppose you're the movie-watching type, are you? Not really. What would his favorite movie and be? I'll tell you everything I know. When the going gets tough, movies... Saving save Silverman? Life. It's always good to be able to look at things from a different perspective when you get in a jam. That's the magic of movies. No kidding. Well, I guess it might at least make a nice distraction. That's the spirit, Snake. Have a little fun. Okay. Alright. I don't... Here. I want to be safe, so I'm going to put this crocodile to sleep. And I'm going to sneak over to that one.
Don't wake up if I touch you. Okay. Ooh, beehive. No. Going for big boss rating. Is big boss the best rating on normal difficulty? I bet Snake would be into like Black Hawk Down or Zero Dark Thir Thirty or something. Now, if I don't save and I die, does it throw me back? It is checkpointing that, right? Like deaths. It doesn't kick me all the way back to my last save, right? It's been a long time. Okay. Okay, here we go. Now is where we really got to test things. Spotted two enemy soldiers. So again, folks, that RB means I can look through Snake's eyes during the cutscene. I always thought that was fun. And grenades. And pineapples and five five sixers. Snake, your presence in Soviet territory is already a violation of international law. So could you not you can't let the even Kremlin be find in out Russia if you were an uh, American involved. dude back Contact then? with the enemy is strictly prohibited. Don't engage them in battle either. This is a stealth, stealth mission. mission. Got that? The major is right. The point of this mission is to sneak through the jungle oh, without the military. being seen. The success. But if of I just want to go there and uh, how well you use your camouflage. Uh, look at the Kremlin. Could I do that in 1963? Change your camouflage by selecting camouflage from the survival oh. viewer. The uniform option lets you pick your uniform, while the face option lets you change your face paint. Choosing camouflage that blends in with your surroundings will help you conceal yourself more effectively. I mean, also, Drew got into North don't Korea. That anything that moves will stand out in the jungle. In real life. If you just stand up and run around like an idiot, you're bound to be spotted. That's but not going to happen, instead, the boss. You, should you don't know who you're talking to. Without being noticed. You can see how effective your camouflage is by looking at the camo index. The camo index shows how well your current camouflage blends in with the surrounding area. The higher the value, the harder you are to spot, and vice versa. The key is to make yourself one with nature. Keep that in mind as you go along, okay? Okay, I'm gonna become one with nature here. This is what I did when I was raking leaves earlier today. It's one with nature. I believe woodland good would be choice. good for where I'm at. Tailing, thank you so much. And, uh, leaf. Leaf seems good for the situation. It's effective in underbrush. Good choice. Okay, if I lay down. 90% camo rating, look at this. Alright, I got fellas to worry about now. Ready for the HD VR remake? Good Is that choice. Happening? I do want to play Resident Evil 4 VR. I will probably not stream that, but I'll talk about it. Alright. God, the animations are just so good. Okay. I don't remember how to choke people out in this. So if I have a Q CQC thing... Do I hold circle? Okay, I see a lot of different things in the chat already. Because it was square, typically. Oh, keep in mind, I am I am holding an Xbox controller right now. Because that's going to blow my perfect rating. Hold B, then. Hold B. And then remember, if you held it hard on the pressure-sensitive button, that's when you would slit the throat. So I don't know how to do that. Oh, big boss rating is zero kills, right? So how do I even do that? How do I toss him down? Because you do a thing where, like, you held circle, and then you, like, let go, you move the stick, and you hit square or something, and it, like, toss him down, or, like, holds him up or whatever. Hmm. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, this is not going to go well, is it? Hey, do you want to tell me about CQC? Camouflage is an indispensable Yeah, I got that much. 
How about uh, that CQC thing? Visibility is poor in the jungle, so you'll be finding yourself in a lot of unexpected encounters. Naturally, this means that close quarters combat will be more important than ever. So I'll have plenty of chances to use CQC then. That's right. In proximity encounters, firing a gun isn't necessarily what? the best response to every situation. It's only one option among many. Rather than taking the time to draw, aim, and fire a gun, engaging your opponent in hand-to-hand -hand combat can sometimes will do that? be a faster and more reliable way of subduing him. Besides, in a sneaking mission like this one, it's too dangerous to go around firing your gun. You'll end up revealing yourself to the enemy. I'm sorry, I'm yeah, Xbox controller. I you created CQC to deal with exactly this type of situation. With your okay, help, let's of course. In a battle situation. This the weapon button to attack using weapon and the C. Okay, so I'm guessing X is the weapon button and B is the CQC button. Here we go. This is okay. So the CQC button, I believe, is B. Wants to throw a punch. Yes, that would be B. Pressing multiple times for the combo. Got it. Striking. Sure. Press and hold down B to grab them. And I can use the left stick to throw them. Knock them out in a single blow. If you don't press the left stick, grapple with your enemy until you're behind them. Get... Double clicking the left stick button, you can slit his throat. Oh, this is going to go bad. Okay. 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 Oh, right. You can demand info. This is going to go smooth, folks. Don't worry about it. I'm going to get some info out of this guy. Stop. Stealth mission. Knock him out. Shut the Shut the uh. Why didn't that throw him? What the hell is going on here? I thought that automatically through him if I moved the stick and tapped. Okay. Okay. We're good. That wasn't the throw. But you can throw him from a hold, right? Oh, jeez. I did throw him, but I didn't knock him out. How do you drop down on guys? I want that pair. 
Yes! This game's amazing. That's fall damage. Yeah. Yeah. Doing good. Stealthiest weapon. Okay. Got any buddies around? Crocodiles are ferocious. Of course they are, they're crocodiles. Freeze. Please don't. <laughs> Better hurry! It's going to blow! Right. That was a guard. <laughs> it's kind of fun trying to play right. I've never done this. If I'm doing non-sneaky walk, will he instantly hear me? Or can I kind of... Oh, Figment, it's on there. Speak. If you climb trees, there's fruit. I just got a pair, I know. Freeze. Shake! <laughs> What's going on? Is he peeing? Okay. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> uh, this is great. <laughs> it's just a good video game right here. You? Yeah. Good choice. Pizza pasta, thank you. Okay. You're still asleep. Just 
Excuse me. That doesn't wake you up, does it? Okay. Beautiful. Like a ghost. Frog. Okay. Kayla's here? Oh, Kayla and I have a history with this game. I made her, uh, no spoilers, but I made her press a button at the end of this game. Good choice. Where's the beehive? Is that it? <laughs> Wait, so can you not crouch walk? <laughs> so if I hit X to kind of crouch, I start crawling. So is the D-pad walk pretty much what I need to do here? D-pad walk is a silent walk, okay. Okay, so I got the nest. So is that an active hornet's nest I can just throw? Okay, I think we're good. This is the coolest fucking video game of all time. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that was a mistake putting that on there. I used to always shoot the supports of this bridge and make the guys fall. This is a pretty slow walk. I'm doing this with the analog stick. Oh, I want to get those mushrooms. Hang on. Yeah. This game was ahead of the curve. Did that beehive make them really not want to be here? Great. <laughs> Kayla, that's great. I think I remember this being a thing. Ooh, yeah, that's a thing. Is that a... So, I have to go into a thing. I have to go into my backpack and take stuff out of that. Wait. Wait. Wait, what? Okay. So wait, 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 wait. Go in here, and I can bring out... Okay, so oh, that's an assault rifle. I mean, I'm being very stealthy. And all the pythons here. So those go into weapons? Or can I put those in items, too? Bug juice? What does that do? Right, they're motion sensors and stuff. Okay. I gotta remember how that shit works. Okay. So if I do this, but oh, it takes battery power, right? Does that automatically recharge if I'm not using it? Oh, smash snake. Or do I have to collect batteries? Okay, this is my gun here. This this tranquilizer gun, that's my thing. Real good. Okay. Okay. Nary, a soldier dead.
Major, I've reached the abandoned factory where Sokolov is supposedly being held. This place is a dump. This is going to be dangerous. Sokolov from here. Security is pretty tight. There are sentries posted around the perimeter. I wonder how many are inside. Good Your choice. objective, Sokolov, is inside the factory. They should be holding him in a room in the northeast section. Northeast section. Got it. Be careful. Your mission is to bring Sokolov back alive. He must not be exposed to any kind of danger. And do not approach Sokolov while in right, the alert right. phase. Right. Oh, and one more thing, Snake. You mean there's more? No, it's just that when you get to Sokolov, I want you to tell him something from me. And that is? Sorry for being so late. Is that all? Yes. Understood. Beginning my approach to the target. Okay. This is gonna be a real test here. Should I? I'm gonna save. Oh right, paramedic has two different uh, frequencies. Not always making multiples. That movie you want to talk about? Snake, do you know the creature from the Black Lagoon? Nope, never heard of it. These scientists are investigating a place deep in the Amazon. Is there a way, like, once I go into this, is there a way to go back into voice mode? I don't think there is. I just, I'm not going to listen every time they, uh, I just go to save. Are you calling me a fish man? That, uh, famous snake line. Okay. Gotta be serious here. Two guys there. See them pretty clearly. <laughs> Fuck. Jesus, that's... There's no way to tag. Alright, okay. Okay, so there's a snake there. Guy there. You can, you can push barrels, you can shoot them to blow them up. Okay, I want to take care of this guy. Can I throw something to distract him? Oh god. He's coming this way anyway. What am I looking at? Okay. I see him. Whew. I'm starting to sweat. It's getting kind of warm. Try it. Jesus fucking Christ. Whatever money I make off that sound alert, I'm gonna put towards heart medicine. Jesus. Hold both triggers while aiming to look over the grass. Okay. Yeah, okay, that's right. Huh. Guess I'm seeing things. That's right, you are. Join your friend. Let's do it. It's gonna scare me every time. Okay. Anyone else? 
gonna get the CQC, buddy. Shut the fuck up. 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 Okay. Um, 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 um. Okay. It's not the butt, but it'll work. I don't know why they didn't toss him. Shotgun? Is it just the one? What does sonar do? Oh, animals, okay. There's gotta be another guy. I do not believe that it's just him. Okay, I think there's a guy that way. He's gonna turn, isn't he? No, 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 who, 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 where? Yes, you certainly are. No, you didn't. No, you fucking didn't. No, 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 get back in. Get Shit. is it? Where's the shotgun? Okay. Just don't make me. There's nobody here. Nobody here. Get up, get up. God. Why can't you go over that, you idiot? Take the shotgun away. said that? Oh, is that dude? Can I get up there? Is he 
feet. Can I come up to the floor? That looks like a thing I can go up in. I would think it would be triangle, the action button, or I'm sorry, Y. But it's not. How do I get up in there? This guy's bothering me. How do you just not shoot? Five should help. Okay, now we're good. <sighs> You're bleeding, man. I ain't got time to bleed. <laughs> none, none the wiser. men you'll never get it from me no i'm a cia agent i've come to escort you back to the other side of the iron curtain that's a, a command and conquer red alert and super CIA. weapon yeah i was sent by major zero the man who got you out two years ago zero i have a message from him what is it 
He said to tell you sorry for being so late. Did he now? What does it mean? It means he's a man of his word. But we've got no time for this. You have to get me out of here before they arrive. Who's they? Colonel Vulcan of Gruul. You in the West know him as Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt? Never heard of him. He's a member of the army's extremist faction, a man who seeks to cool, seize control bad guy. of the motherland. Ever since the Cuban Missile Crisis two years ago, Russia has been pursuing a policy of peaceful coexistence with the West. Despite resistance and criticism from hawks in the army and the provincial authorities, Khrushchev has managed to suppress the opposition so far. But the failure of his agricultural policies has put him in a precarious position. And on top of that, the tragedy last November. President Kennedy's assassination. Or so this is 64. In a sense, Khrushchev has lost his biggest partner and his power base is rapidly crumbling away. A certain group is plotting to use this opportunity to seize power by rallying the anti government forces, overthrowing Khrushchev, and installing Brezhnev and Kosygin in his place. The mastermind behind this plot is Colonel Volgin of the Gru. He has control of the Gru, a real thing? Weapons research facility, much like this one. OKB-812, known as the Gronin Design Bureau, and is using it to further his plans. But that is not enough to satisfy him. Now he's plotting to seize the secret weapon I have been developing here and use it as leverage. So Volgan wants a secret weapon that Sokolov is making. And Volgan is the leader of an extremist faction. Sokolov was developing the weapon he for Russia proper. That is that right? To make their move during the test then the soldiers outside exactly they wouldn't need that many men just to keep me inside their orders were to prevent Colonel Volgan from capturing me even if it meant killing me in the process or so it would seem Vulcan will come. I'm sure of it. You must get me out of here before then. Leave it to me. By the way, your Russian is supposed to be. That's the boss. Is that so? America's Function truly unavailable. a frightening country. Having second thoughts. No. I have no love for this place. Let's go. This is very fun. Major, this is Snake. It's fun to play. Sokolov is safe with me. He's doing fine. No injuries. Good work, Snake. Now hurry up and get Sokolov to the recovery point. We'll rendezvous with you there. Roger. What about the sentries? I had to kill them. There was no other way. But no one will know we were involved. I see. What about the boss? Contribute! We lost contact with the boss sometime. Thank you, Brana. What happened? It's probably just a week. I'll do it any time. Just hurry and get Sokolov out of there. That would be me in this situation. <gasps> Avid, I'll, I'll get that.
Hey Siri, remind me meow sound alert and snake eater sound alert. Freeze! <gasps> this is a cool location. Ocelot unit of Spetsnaz. Huh. What's a Gru soldier doing here? Soldier? Good choice. <laughs> He's the Ocelot commander. <laughs> That's Major Ocelot to you. Don't you forget it. Sokolov is ours. Now get out of here. And Ocelot never lets his prey escape. What? Cool dude. <laughs> A dud. I can't say it feels good to kill a comrade. Even if it is for the Gru. <gasps> Sokolov, take cover. Huh. You're not the boss, are you? What is that stance? Huh. That gun. <laughs> you meowed. If you're not the boss, then die. Uh. Idiot. Another one. Whoa! Ooh. See, it would have become not stealth at some point anyway. I'll still keep shooting for stealth. This is not stealth. Quinn, thank you. Thanks everyone using those Prime subscriptions. You would 
rejected the first bullet by hand, didn't you? I see what you were trying to do. But testing a technique you've only heard about in the middle of battle wasn't very smart. You were asking to have your gun jam on you. Besides, I don't think you're cut out for an automatic in the first place. You tend to twist your elbow to absorb the recoil. That's more of a revolver technique. You filthy American dog! <laughs> But that was some fancy shooting. You're pretty good. Pretty good. <sighs> Snake is pretty cool. Major, Snake is really cool. Me? I read you. Snake, you all right? Ocelot's run into a few working snags. towards getting cool. These guys were after Sokolov, too. Right? Apparently, they were taking orders from a Gru colonel named Volgan. A Gru colonel? Part of an internal Soviet power struggle, according to Sokolov. Something between the KGB and Gru. Between Khrushchev's supporters and Volgan's. Sokolov was being guarded by the KGB and hunted by Gru? Snake, it sounds like this could be even hotter than Cuba. I don't like it. Something about the whole thing stinks. I agree. You'd better hurry. Sokolov ran off by himself, but I'll catch up to him. We're counting on you. I wasn't going for all stealth. I'll show you what happened here. Well, wait, can I just drag him around? Wait, hang on. Hang on. How many darts can we put in his dick? What's going on here? What else you guys got? Yeah, he's gonna be pissed when he wakes up. Just gonna just pile a bunch of guys on him. Just gonna be real mad when he wakes up. I mean, I'm not gonna get perfect rating anyway now. Hang on. I want some more. 
You want some more hornet's nest? and creates a time paradox. Classic uh, <laughs> Hang on. Uh, <laughs> that wouldn't roll past that, would it? Good choice. Oh, Zach, thank you. Going to blow. Not too bad. I want some more. Disgusting. I can't take another. Gotta keep going. <laughs> uh, okay. That's the funniest fucking thing in the world. <laughs> Barfed on his dick and shot him with a shotgun. <laughs> uh, oh, God. I actually do need to eat something. <sighs> Are we good on... Nah, you're standing up right now. Nice. Oh, boy. This is a good video game. This is still a really good video game. What gun was that? Fuck, this is good. Work here is done.
okay? Those men were from the Ocelot unit. Spetsnaz? Yes. The best crew has to offer. They're coming for me. I'm finished! Calm down. I'll get you out of here, I promise. And we've got some of the best backup we could ask for. Look. That's no good. Take the caps That's off that. Making you build. Yes, the Shagahod, the treaded behemoth, a tank capable of launching <laughs> nuclear IRBM. It can launch nuclear missiles from that kind of terrain. Oh, yes, and without support from friendly units. A nuclear equipped tank capable of operating solo. I love these shots when they introduce a metal gear. finished. No. This is only the end of phase one. It won't be truly finished until we complete phase two. Phase two. The weapon's true form. If it is completed and the colonel gets his hands on it, it will mean the end of the Cold War. The end of the Cold War? Yes. And then the Age of Fear will truly begin. A world war. I had no choice. Was that the fear of world or uh, the Cold War? Was that a World War III was going to happen? To die. I wanted to see my wife and child again in America. Please take me to America quickly. They cannot complete it without my help. Got it. Let's go. But if it was just America and Russia, I feel like you got to have a whole lot more of the world involved to, to be a world war. So. Who else was would be uh, irritated by uh, the unpleasantness between the states and Russia back then? Because America versus Russia is just a war. That's not a world war. Oh, I guess once nukes got involved, yeah, a lot of people would have opinions about it. Here we go! My buddy! Get on the land before we start doing that. Good work, Jack. What are you doing here? Sokolov comes with me. Oh, you're gonna help me uh, take him out of here? It's huh. gotta be a reasonable explanation for all these bees popping up. It's just every five minutes being reminded of how much ass this game kicks. Look what's happening there! It's the Bee Man! The Bee Man had a helicopter shooting bees! And the Predator Man, this spider kidnapping the scientist. Friends with a bee man. We will fight. Like, I love Ben Hansen, but he can't like control bees or anything. Welcome back, boss. Now that all five of us are together, it's time we go to the depths of hell itself. Again, must be explanations for all this. It's raining blood. Is he crying? 
Fuck yeah, this game. If you've never seen this before and you're not sold on this fucking game by now, what are you doing watching a video game stream? <laughs> this is the coolest shit in the world. Oh, and here's the lighting man. Kuabara, Kuabara. Joyful scene. Colonel Vogel. Welcome to my country. And to my unit. Boss, what is this? I'm defecting to the Soviet Union. Sokolov is a little gift from my new Damn hosts. it. Don't drop that. It's very rickety. Can help you carry it if you He's need. Like a fine gift for me. This can't be happening. Who is he? Another one of your disciples? He won't be important to the next seventy years of human history. Are we taking him with us? No, this one is still just a child, too pure for us cobras. He has not yet found an emotion to carry into battle. What are you talking about? Think you can pull the trigger? Ow. That is the cool Ow. shit. Huh? That is so cool. It is a seen my face. Uh, I don't want to say anything about future stuff. She's very cool. We can't let him live. That would I want that power. I want to be a lightning man. If Khrushchev finds out about this, we're finished. He must die. Wait. He's my apprentice. I'll take care of him. <clears throat> Jack, you can't come with us. Is this anime? Chat's saying this is anime shit. Good choice. Cool. Those guys aren't anime, though, right? It's just... it's just war. Are we done here? Now, onto Sokolov's research facility. Shagohad is ours. She is one of the coolest video game characters of all time. Drift away. My place is with them now. The B Man and his friends. I remember reading the leaked casting sheet before this game came out and uh, reading about the B-Man and the Fear and the Fury and 
the ghost and just thinking like, well, this is obviously fake. Snake, can you hear me? Yeah, just barely. Snake, listen to me. You need emergency medical treatment. Can you move? Throwing off a bridge? You've got to get those wounds treated. Hang in there. All right, let's get you fixed up. Paramedic. Hearing there's a okay, RB sweet. Easter egg Just coming up here. And it'll all be over before you know it. I don't remember that. Let me know what to look for and I'll try. Stay with me. I've seen people in worse shape before. Think you can handle it? Major. The boss. She's defected. We'll talk about that later. First, we've got to get you patched up. Okay, here we go. Look to First, the left. open the survival viewer with the start button. If you select cure, you can start the treatment. So during a cutscene? Healing is divided. Okay, so this is going to teach me how to do this boring healing thing. I can do this. Uh... Yeah, it's just saying you have to do all this stuff. So can I do it here? Look to the left. After I heal? Okay. All right. This part I always found was uh, better in concept than execution. Bandage? Sure. It's all the same thing. Bone. Okay. Trying RB. No, wounds did not heal in real time. I don't think ballistic. There is real time elements to this game. Unless I'm wrong, I don't think it would heal in real time. Snake. We're coming to get you now. Just stay where you are. We'll drop a recovery balloon. Can you set it up? I was doing a bunch of RB. Still going. Who's that supposed to be? I don't think I've ever seen that one before. Interesting. Shagohod. He was someone's dad, if I remember correctly. You can't carry something that heavy on flying things.
Remember they showed all this stuff in the trailers. They showed a lot in the trailers ahead of time. I just had to take in any piece of news about this game as possible. So, like, I read the lead casting sheet, watched every trailer, honestly, probably a hundred plus times before... It's like, this is the most obsessed I've ever been with a game before it came out. By far. And I was bummed when the casting sheet made it clear that it was going to be in the 60s because I wanted to see a follow-up to Sons of Liberty. But you got the best of both worlds. Got this awesome game, and then they they covered everything that happens after 2. What are we going to do with the girl? Who is she? Apparently she's Sokolov's woman. Sokolov. Huh. She's a nice catch. I'll take her. Not so fast, my dear. KGB. We may be able to use her. KGB was... Okay, so KGB was... Russia proper's CIA, basically. And these guys are extremists who don't like Russia proper. So they're worried about the KGB. I know about the KGB because of Goldeneye. Shall we take her back to the base? Perhaps we should. We have no further use for Sokolov's research facility. I think it's time I gave this marvelous new toy a try. This won't cause any problems. Even if they are our enemies, they're still our countrymen. But it won't be me that pulled the trigger. It'll be our friend, the American defector. You're going to nuke your fellow Russians? <laughs> Remember the Alamo. Colonel! That's a nuke. Wouldn't there be like crazy radiation stuff going on here? Like, wouldn't he be not doing well? Even more so than the falling off the bridge thing? I've seen Terminator 2. Yeah, he would be holding a fence right now and turning into a skeleton. save here. Does it, uh, so I can just save here, and if I load here, it'll just, like, start with the whole, like, follow-up to the Virtuous Mission, is that correct? That's how this works, right? Because I feel like there's a lot, a lot coming up, right? Yeah, okay. Oh, fuck. Well, this is what we'll go out on. Games this cool anymore? Like games are great. Games are cool now. But come on.
someday you feed on a tree frog. It's true. Someday we do. You said weird days sometimes. Did I not know that? I'm controlling the words. This is the coolest fucking movie of all time. Something that I have on the screen. That seems like an effective place to leave things off here. There is a there is a lot more to come from this game. You will see this cutscene next time. We will cover that. Uh, we will be back certainly. I'm going to shoot for Tuesdays to be when I play this, but you never know. Uh, let me turn down the, uh, the game now. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, uh, maybe there's already another episode up. I don't know. Just just click on it. You know how YouTube works. Just figure it out. For everyone watching live, thanks for joining me. We will be back next week with more Snake Eater.